Hey guys, it's Aaron. So this is actually a re-recording of last week's video. Something happened with the sound. I don't know what it was. I traced it back and uh, found a problem in the original recording. So I'm not sure what happened. Other videos I recorded that day looked fine. So I'm not sure. Anyhow, redoing it. So uh, gonna jump in, gonna make a chain in SketchUp, walk through some stuff with making components. Um, and then we're actually talking about scaling. That was kind of the cool part of, of this process was seeing how to use scale and components. It's a, a good lesson to learn if you plan on using components and rescaling them as you use them in your model. So without any further ado, let's hop in and make a chain in SketchUp. Native tools only. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna model this at scale. So the scale is gonna be set by We'll start with a circle right here. So I'm gonna draw a circle. I'm just gonna draw it on the green axis. So I just hit the left arrow key to draw a circle. And I'm just gonna draw it, uh, it's gonna be a two inch circle. So I'm gonna draw it to the right one. When I do that, I get that. So right now, this circle, if I select it and go to Entity Info, is, uh, oops, I gotta select the edges, is 24 sides. That's a lot. So when we make chains, we're talking about repetitive geometry happens over and over and over again. Uh, and generally speaking, this is not a hero image. This is not, I mean, this is not going to be just a, maybe used as a model of just a chain. So I'm going to drop this to like eight sides. And that's a little clunky right now, but if, if I zoom out and look at it like this, ooh, that's a pretty good looking circle. So this all comes down to how much weight I'm willing to add to my model. Uh, and I want to keep it fairly light, so I'm just going to put my initial circle in as three or as eight sides. Now I'm going to grab a line. I'm going to go from the middle of this circle. I'm going to go this way. Uh, let's start with uh, two inches, and then I'm going to come this way four inches, and then come back two inches. So this is going to be half the profile of my chain. I'm going to draw an arc from here to here. So I'm drawing my default arc right now. You can see that's a lot of sides. So that is actually 12 sides. That's too much. That's again, gonna give me a whole lot of geometry. So what I'm gonna do is when I come in here to my arc, uh, it's gonna ask me how many sides. I'm gonna put in four sides. And then just draw that across like that and pull that out along the green axis till it snaps to half circle. All right, I get rid of that. Cool, now I'm gonna grab that geometry I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to hit my red arrow, my right arrow on the keyboard, snap my red axes, hit my modifier key, and flip a copy over like that. Now, what I'm going to do is double click, triple click to grab all these lines and just say, follow me with this geometry. And with that, we have a single chain link. Now, one of the things that people no noted and commented on was I did not reverse this. And I didn't, but it's pretty easy to right click, reverse face. It's just a single face right now. The other thing I wanna be conscious of, I'm gonna grab this right now and slide it over because right now there actually is geometry floating around inside there that was my original path. I can actually triple click and delete that. I don't need it. All right, I'm going to grab all of this. So here's the thing you might find when I just click the surface and right click, I don't have the option to make component, but if I triple click, right click, I can make component. It seems weird because, well, isn't it connect, selecting the same thing? Yeah, kind of. Right now it's selecting a single surface. A group or component can only be made if more than one thing is selected. So triple clicking actually selects that surface and it also highlights all of the smoothed edges. So it seems kind of weird, seems kind of counterintuitive, but in order to make this, I do have to select all of it and then I can right click and say make component and I'm just gonna call this my link. All right, now, one link's good, but one link alone is basically just a stretched out donut. So let's make another copy. So what I wanna do right now is I'm going to rotate this copy 90 degrees. I'm gonna do that using the rotate command, and I'm going to move it from this endpoint. It's hard to see right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn hidden geometry on. So I wanna move this point right here, but I want to rotate on the green axis, so I'm going to hit my left arrow key, click right here, and I'm going to spin it 90 degrees. I do want to make sure to hit my modifier key, spin a copy and not the original. All right, almost there. 
Now I'm just gonna use the move command to move it this direction. And how far am I gonna move it? Well, like I said, I am actually intentionally building this to a specific uh, geometry. So I'm gonna move it down, let's say uh, five and a half inches. There we go. That works good. That doesn't overlap my geometry. There's a space there. Perfect. That's important because when I go grab all of this and move it, option key again, I want to move it down five and a half inches plus five and a half inches. So I'm going to move it 11 inches. So I'm just going to type 11, hit enter, and I'm going to say uh, 9x. So it's going to give me 10 copies. All right, there's my chain. I can turn my hidden geometry off right now. That is my chain. So if I stand back and look at that chain, that's a good looking chain. That is a big chain. That's a big chunk of chain. Look at that next to Laura. You can kind of see how, how big that is. That's like big, like big boat anchor chain or something. I don't know. I'm not a chain guy, uh, but it's a big chain. I'm going to take all of it right now and I'm going to make it into a group. So generally speaking, this is how I will operate. Things become components, especially things that are going to repeat and collections of those components I generally put into groups. If this was something that was going to repeat and possibly change, I would make that a component as well. Right now, I'm not going to though. Okay, so I'm gonna make a copy of this. I'm just gonna hit option, just make a copy, put it over here to the side, and I wanna resize this chain. So if I was to come in here, so first things first, if I come in here to one of these links and I was to say I just, just scaled it, right? If I just go ahead and scale this down and that's not gonna do a whole lot for me. Um, I could come in and grab this whole thing from the outside and scale it. I could grab this, say I wanna scale that to you know, some percentage. If I wanted precise links, so my, my links right now are two inches across, but I wanted this, uh, you know, say they're supposed to be one and a quarter instead of one, then I'd have to do some math to figure out what scale to put that to. So let's talk about precise scaling. So if I come in here, I'm gonna go into just this one length. I'm gonna hide everything else. I'm gonna go up to view, go to component edit and hide similar components. That hides everything else. And I'm gonna turn on my hidden geometry. That gives me some things to dimension. I'm gonna draw a line from the middle point right here straight up. I'm gonna to go to the middle point of this line right here, draw that straight up, and then draw a line between the two. Now I can actually look and see this line is two inches. See that down there in the lower right corner? That's two inches. So if I grab my tape measure, click from here to here and say, that's supposed to be 1.25. That's what I was saying, it's one and a quarter. Do you wanna resize it? Yes. And then when it resizes, uh-oh, weird stuff happened. Weird stuff happened twice. So two things happen here. One is I did not make this, these chain links, separate from these chain links. So as soon as I made a change here, they happened in my old chain. This chain was supposed to stay the way it was. The second thing that happened was each link actually changed and shifted ab about its axes based on how I resized it. So yeah, kind of, this is kind of a situation where everything that could go wrong went wrong. So I'm gonna undo a couple times so I get back to my main chain link size. That's fine. So I actually wanna keep this for right now. But actually, no, I'm, I'm gonna undo that too. I'm gonna get rid of those lines come all the way back out. And before I go any further, then right here, I'm gonna double click, select all these chain links, and then right click and say, make unique. What that does, that says these chain links are different from these chain links. So when I make a change here, this set of chain links is not gonna affect this set of chain links. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna look at some, some stuff now. So if I come in here and do the same thing, I draw my lines, and I resize that with the tape measure, same thing is gonna happen. They're gonna scoot away from each other and they're gonna be disconnected. So that's not a good solution. So how do I rescale that to a specific size? Well, what I can do is I can come into this component and I'm, I'm outside these components right now. So right now I'm drawing this line outside of the link geometry but I'm inside the group of the chain. So when I come in here and I say, make that 1.25 and hit enter, it's gonna say, do you wanna resize what's in the group? Yes. The whole thing shrinks down. So if I click out, you can see the difference in the size. Awesome, but not done. So I come in here, I'm gonna get rid of these lines. Here's the issue. 
this component has just been resized on the outside. So I took the box that this chain link was in and squished it down. I did not tell the original geometry to change size. Fortunately, there's a pretty simple solution here. If I right click on one of these components, I have two options here. One is reset scale. If I hit reset scale, guess what's going to happen? It's going to go back to its original scale. I'm going to undo that. If I right click on it and I say scale definition, that says this copy and all the rest of these rescale to this size. So right now I don't have reset scale because they're at their new original size. So by taking that extra step, I've assured that these aren't going to some reason or another blow up to a bigger size in the middle of my model. Uh, and I've also kept them totally separate. There's a totally separate chain with totally separate links from my original geometry. So I think I pretty much said everything and maybe one or two extra things I had in the original video last week. And if this is posted, that means the audio actually all still worked too. So that's a big plus. Um, hopefully you like that. If you did like that, go ahead and click like down below. And if you don't already, please subscribe. We do several videos a week and be notified of each of them if you subscribe to our channel. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. Most of our content and notes like, hey, your sound's all messed up, <laughs> are greatly appreciated. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.